What's going on guys? We are back again. Today, we're gonna show you how to network a Konica C754. This applies to a lot of other models as well. I know some of you guys get a new copier and you wanna know, how do I get this thing online? How do I print to this? How do I scan to this thing? Well, I'm gonna show you how to get the initial setup done right now. You guys, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is turn off your main power here. Just like so. Let me see if I can squeeze this around, turn that around a little bit there. Right on this side here, there's an ethernet port. You wanna go ahead and plug in one, in one end of your ethernet port to the copier. Now let's head over to our router. Okay, then click your other end into the router here. Okay, now that both ends are plugged in, we're going to go ahead and turn the power back on. Then come on over to the menu. Okay, and we're back. So the cable's connected on both ends. We have link lights on the side of the machine, so we're all good. We know that the machine has data. So now you want to go in and press menu, utility, administrator settings. And the password is one through eight two times. And press OK. And you should see a network settings tab at the bottom. I believe that pops up uh, a lot quicker if you're connected. It may take some time if you're not connected. So just go ahead and hit network settings. And then the start here is TCP IP, uh, IPv4. And this should be set to auto, especially when you start. Uh, if you want to do a DHCP reservation, you can always leave it on auto because it'll always pick up the same address using the MAC address. You also have the option for a manual input if you want like a static IP address. I always opt for auto. And then DHCP settings are on, boot, T, R, ping, auto, those are fine. You can leave those on, hit OK. You don't have to worry about IPv6 unless you have that environment. The DNS host, um, the host name should automatically pop up. DNS snowbay name, this is also something you should leave enabled unless you have a specific DNS that you want to um, input yourself. Uh, nothing there that you need, nothing there. FTP is if you want to set up a file transfer protocol setting or SMB setting. I'll do another video on SMB. Uh, LDAP is for like uh, email addresses uh, in your company. The email settings is for your scan to email. I've done a separate video on that. SMPB, Apple Talk, don't think about any of those right now. Da, 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 da. Those look all good. Cool. All right, so pretty much the machine is already networked. We have an IP address, and we can even print it out if we want to. Let's go to print reports and configuration page. And we'll do it out of tray one. This page will give us our IP address, along with the subnet and default gateway. All we have to do now is go to our computer to install the printer. Okay, now that we have our IP address, we're going to go ahead and install the printer. Bottom left hand side, type in printers. The menu will pop up here. Then you're going to select add a printer or scanner. It's going to scan the network and try to find the printer that way automatically. But I'm going to show you how to do it the manual way by letting it scan. And then selecting this icon that pops up right here. The printer that I want isn't listed. Then click add a printer using TCP IP. Type in your IP address. And make sure this box is checked if you want the um, computer to automatically detect the driver. You can also download the driver yourself on the KMBS website. Okay, looks like it found the printer. Here you can go ahead and name it whatever you would like. I'm just going to leave it that at that and select next. Now it's going to install the printer. You can share this printer across the network if you want. I'm going to select do not share at this time and print a test page. There you go. Now you hear the test page coming out. Okay, one more thing I'm going to show you is
you can type the IP address of your copier into a search bar. Select enter. And this will bring you to the splash page of the copier. Everything you can do with the copier you can do on this page uh, that's network related, um, that relates to anything. Oh, I'm sorry, I put the wrong address in there, sorry. Let me just uh, change that to a zero. There we go. Here we go. So you can check your toner levels, uh, your meter counts. If you log in here using the same password, under administrator, log in, one through eight, two times. Press OK. Now you have all these options here. You can mess with the network, you can change your IP address if you want to. Um, you can go into your email settings for your SMTP settings. I mean, you can see there's a boatload of settings here you can mess with. Your user account um, track can be turned on and off. Your scan to box settings, uh, your system settings, security settings, maintenance settings, sprint settings. You guys can go ahead and play with these. But uh, one um, that I like to use a lot is the network settings. I'll go in here and change things usually um, in the email settings list to set up my scan to um, mail servers and stuff like that but there you go guys when you're done just make sure you log out that way you'll be able to use the machine again and that is all for today guys on how to network a Konica copier any questions please leave them in the comment box below please give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video